Good morning, Facebook. This is Keith on my wife's page. This is my son down here. Say hey, Elijah. Hey. <laughs> uh, this morning, God convicted me on something that I've been denying for a while. And I think most of us as Christians are denying it. Um, because we all have an idol in our life that we don't want to admit to. We want to say it's not an idol. But it is. And here it is right here. This is called a television. <laughs> yes, I still have a computer. Um, still have a computer. And I'm going to use the uh, computer for the glory of God. And uh, But something that we have been convicted on. Uh, we said we don't want the TV in the house, so we put it in the back room, but then we end up taking it out of the back room and watching TV all day or playing video games. And uh, as a man of God, I should not have anything that's getting in my way or my family's way. I've seen my son, just like many other people, getting caught up in playing video games all day, uh, which I shouldn't have even put in his life in the first place. So I'm repenting today, and he's repenting with me. And... Um, yeah, God just heavily convicted me this morning, and I just started weeping. Uh, all kinds of Satanists have said over and over again how thankful they are for the television because it is the introduction to the religion of Satanism into the homes of Christians. And, you know, you can write that off all you want, but what kind of filth do you watch? What kind of garbage do you watch because you've allowed it in your house? Uh, you can't say you're sanctified by the Holy Ghost and uh, be watching the sorry garbage that's on uh, TV today. Uh, it's nothing but filth. It's full of the devil, and I've seen how it infiltrates our lives. Anyways, put the put the TV in the back room and said we'll just pull it out occasionally. Uh, I'm just going to put it out, you know, just occasionally. And uh, what happens is we keep pulling out and spending all this time. I was playing a video game. And I don't play video games, but there was this one some of my friends was telling me I should play. And I kept justifying there were some things in it. You know, I said, oh, well, there's just whatever. And I shouldn't have played it. And I got involved in it and wanted to beat it. And I would get up early or late at night and play it when fam family wasn't around. So I wasn't being a distraction. And uh, spent more time on that than I'd, uh, I could have been spending more time with God. So God showed me that this is an idol in my life. And I think most of us would be honest, it's an idol in our lives. And so today, me and my son are repenting. Here he is down here. This this morning, he comes walking in the room and said, what are you doing? I said, son, I'm sorry, but I'm smashing our idol. And uh, he said, well, what's that? And I said, the TV. And he, I saw tears in his eyes, and that made me realize even more why I need to do this, that if my son's going to cry over a stupid TV, um, then I have not done my job as a parent. And, uh, and I said to him, I said, son, we need to spend more time with Jesus, less time on the TV. And he said, Daddy, I've been thinking, I want to spend more time with Jesus. Let's get rid of the TV. So I'm so thankful for what God's put on our heart. So today, we are going to break this together. Elijah's going to hold the phone as I smash it with the axe. I hope everybody's praising God with us together. Here you go, Elijah. Hold it in face. Hold it like that. Right there. And I'm going to smash it. Hold it right there. Just like that. Huh? Not right there. That's okay. I don't think that's going to work again. Did you get it? There it is now. So you might think I'm crazy. But if we're honest with ourselves, there are all kinds of things in our life that are getting in the way of our walk with God. You can get up early, watch shows. You can spend hours upon hours watching shows which have sexual crude humor in it. They have uh, nonsense in it. Um, they have uh, filth. A lot of Christians today are justifying watching filth like Orange is the New Black and Game of Thrones. We weren't even watching stuff like that. But the fact that we're spending so much time 
watching stuff and playing things that had nothing to do with the things of God. And, uh, you know, if this, if the stuff that was going on today was going on 50 years ago, we'd have been excommunicated from our churches. So, um, it's time for Christians to stop being lazy Christians. It's time for me to stop being lazy Christian. And, uh, I know a lot of you probably just think I'm an, a lunatic, um, but uh, I'm done with the stupid TV. The TV's dirt. Uh, it has nothing to offer. Um, if we want to watch something educational for the kids, we can sit in the computer room. We've already had it when we had the TV in the other room. We don't spend all the time on the computer. So here's what you should do to your TV. Elijah, you got anything to say? Hey, why did we smash our TV? Because we had it too long. That's right. What do we want to spend more time doing? Doing G just thinking about G just. Amen. Are you glad we smashed the TV? See, your kids don't need the TV. Your kids don't need this crap. <laughs> uh, they want Jesus. Amen, bro? son? Give me five. All right, God bless you guys. I hope this was an encouragement. If it uh, made you angry, then good. It probably needed to challenge you to uh, get off your beds, get off your couches, uh, and go out and preach the gospel and spread the, the news of the coming of the kingdom of God uh, to transform people's lives. So, amen. Smash your TV. Amen.